Alright, hey, this is Buff and Buffy again, and this uh, video is just gonna tell you what a custom firmware is and what it does for you on your PSP. It's not exactly gonna explain how you get custom firmware because that's a little more difficult process than I'm going to explain now. So, um, basically, what a custom firmware is is what a PSP normally comes as as you buy it. it is a official firmware and you can see your official firmware by you going over to your system and you go down to system settings you go into that and then you just go all the way to the bottom and the second from the bottom it's called system information and the first thing on there will say system software and that is your firmware that you have mine currently 3.90 m33-3 and um so that is where it shows your custom uh firmware or your firmware if, in, if it's official and custom firmware what it does for you is you can get ISO games off of the internet like in a previous video I've shown PSP dot or PSP ISO dot com um, and you get free games off of that instead of having to go buy and pay 25 bucks each or anything if you're not one of those people that likes to spend a lot of money on that well this is the thing to use um, another thing custom firmware does for you is you can get themes um, it's a CXMB themes, which are a lot better than a normal PTF file theme. Um, so a PTF file theme looks like this. It's your original thing, and it's not these exact icons. But it's in that order, you know, it's that, like settings and then all that. But a CTF file theme, which is CXMB, so a CTF theme has like, it could be like Xbox, if if you guys have an Xbox 360, you know what I'm talking about, like the main menu on that. So like, Xbox 360, PSP theme, I'll show you what that looks like here. See, you could get like this. No, not that. See, this would still, it just has the background as the Xbox 360. That's not it. It still has that order thing where, but where you could put these icons in like the bottom corner. That is a CXMB theme. Like this. It's real Xbox 360, but this is how it kind of looks. It has these different tabs that you can go back and forth between instead of the actual icons right here that you go through. And. Oh, right now mine's not even I can't get my PSP up here but and that's you can get so you can get some pretty cool themes with that I currently have a Xbox 360 theme also and it has those tabs and it's a Halo 3 and it has some pretty cool sounds and other things and it just looks awesome so um I will show a video on how to install CXMB later if you have a custom firmware but back to custom firmware. Um, here, wait. CXMB theme. This is it right here. This is pretty much it. This is exactly what it looks like. You know, it has, but it, it can be any color or anything you want, right? It can have designs and stuff, but it doesn't have to be like 360, but it can be. So, um, I'll show you a little more about that later, but uh, back to custom firmwares. Custom firmwares can also get you uh, certain programs that you want, like recording video on your PSP without having it connected to the computer or using a video camera. A uh, program like getting your PSP screen to show up on the computer, your PC screen and while playing that, which that usually doesn't work, works about, mm, I'd say about 27% of the time. It just depends if you do everything right. Um, custom firmware is a nice thing to have if you don't like to pay a lot of money and you like to have a lot of extra stuff. 
custom firmware firmware also can give you extra icons like Skype. You can get Skype on there, the icon for that, or Go Messenger and all that kind of stuff. And it has an extra couple things you can do. Um, it just really makes PSP more fun. Um, I might make a video of how to get it, but it's going to be in a lot of parts because it takes a while to actually do. So, um, that's pretty much it that I want to explain about custom firmware at the moment. And if you need any more help, just message me and I'll reply right back to you. And currently, I will, soon I will be making a custom firmware instruction manual on how to get it but that will not be in video it will be typed up but I don't have that at the moment so if you message me in like ah, say a week or two I might be able to message you that back that and then you can follow step by step instructions on that one uh, just comment me a subscribe and more tutorials and other things will be coming from me soon and I hope this helped you out a little, tell you what custom firmware is and what it does. Thank you.